we have the pleasure today to be speaking with composer and pianist Ola Yelo and talking to him about uh, the commission that he wrote entitled Roots uh, for Chorus America that we uh, were planning to premiere in on May 2nd, the Mendelssohn Club's uh, Limitless Concert, and that we are now uh, creating a virtual choral performance of. So welcome, Ola. It's a really a pleasure for me to be able to speak to you on behalf of Mendelssohn Club. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you. Um, we're kind of in an, in, in an interesting time right now. Can you share with us what your work life is, is like in this new quarantine life? Pretty much exactly the same, <laughs> <laughs> for, in my case, just because I'm, um, uh, my main job if, or sort of full-time job is, is, uh, composing anyway. So, uh, I work at home, um, unless I'm, I'm on the, on the road, uh, performing or, or something. Well, let's talk about Roots a bit. I was personally very excited when I saw this project that Chorus America had, uh, had this, uh, consortium this year to commission you for uh, a new work. Uh, so, um, you. what were you tasked to do by Chorus America for this piece? Um, it was pretty open, um, just uh, that it was a certain length and um, preferably uh, I, either a cappella or, or maybe with piano, mm -hmm. um, so that we could keep it fairly simple and it could be easily performed by anyone. You know, I loved following your updates about what your vision for the piece uh, would be and as that kind of changed and grew, and I'm kind of curious uh, how that happened? Did that happen partially with the text, or did the the text come later? Um, can you t just talk about that process? Yeah, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted the piece uh, to be exactly, and that that can be a, a kind of long, kind of morphing process, you know. And um, but I think what partly informed it um, was my next uh, album on uh, Decca Classics will be a choral album. And because uh, my recent one was a, a solo piano album, so we tend to kind of go uh, toggle between those those two uh, areas. And uh, that one is going to be about my connection to Norway, being uh, having grown uh, gr uh, grown up there. I lived in Norway until I was 23 when I moved to New York City. So I had um, Tony Silvestri. Uh, write a new, uh, uh, he kindly wrote a new text for the piece. It's always, always exciting to work with Tony and to get, you know, a new text that is the, you know, literally written for that specific piece. And I wanted it to be about the sense of home that's not necessarily where you end up living or uh, where you're, you uh, base your life, but just where you're from, you know? which is always a different kind of feeling of home, even though you might never live there again, but it's that special bond uh, that I feel to, to my hometown in Norway and um, the feelings that that sort of, uh, and memories it's about. The tune and the text are so tightly knit together, I mm. feel in this piece. And so where did, where did the tune come from? Well, this is actually uh, one of those cases where uh, the melody kind of came first. So that's, uh, sometimes that's great because then, you know, you can uh, mold the text to it and, and to make it fit really well. Um, so it came from nothing really, <laughs> which is usually the case with me because I, I, I always, um, other than other than that, I I knew I wanted it to be about something that felt uh, warm and sort of uh, felt like home, you know. Um, that 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 was the only uh, inspiration, direct inspiration to it. Um, but generally, I I because I always start with uh, improvisation. I think you you hit the nail on the head for that melody that reminds you of home. It it feels like a folk tune. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to be very melodic and something that sort of is very sort of heart oriented. I wanted it to be just very, very simple um, and something, yeah, that, that's um, uncomplicated. It just resonates so much this time. I mean, it's, um, did you think of that, of, of the piece? I know when you had finished it, you know, it was the emerging of, of some of this. Um, 
do you have any thoughts about how the piece might resonate differently now in this new situation of moving forward? Our concept of, of home in itself, I think, is, is, is different because we're sort of confined to our homes now. Uh, and it's, it's not just a, a source of sort of um, comfort and stability, but also like almost like a shelter, you know? that might be fitting right now, just that it's, it's something that has a, a, a comfort to it. Um, that uh, I know, certainly I need right now, and I'm sure everyone else. So um, hopefully um, it can have that if, sort of effect. But I think what can come out of this uh, in a positive sense is, is we're learning new tools in how to share and how to uh, communicate that will be useful, I think, later uh, when this is over. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it's really, as I said, a pleasure to be able to speak with you and, and you too. Uh, learn more about the piece and, and learn more about you. And, and, um, and thank you so much for your time. No, thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you. And uh, yeah, I, I, it's wonderful that you guys have recorded it. and. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to hearing it.